If you a Scorpio, you need to be subscribed. Like, you know, this is this this family shit, this blood, this DNA. If you a Scorpio, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm related to Scorpios. Y'all, if y'all see me checking my phone, it's because I just door dashed some kabucha, kokabura, kokabura wings from Outback. I got the mashed potatoes too. I got some hot kokabura. I usually get fries, but I say, fuck it, let's go mash. I was in the shower, y'all. And I just feel like it is just very fucking difficult and terrifying being a Scorpio. And I don't know. I don't know if other Scorpios feel like this. I'm sure they do. But I just feel so fucking misunderstood sometimes. Like, I think the way that I mean things don't, like, people don't see it that way, I guess. I feel like all Scorpios have, like really 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 soft hearts like under all of the cement and the and the um the stainless steel and the uh the, the wall of china uh, behind all of that there's like a little fluffy pillow heart and i feel like people think we just you know cold as shit because we have a hard exterior i think that we are probably the softest sign and I think that pisses us off. It pisses me off. Definitely, it pisses me off. My earring's still in. I need to put, y'all remember we put uh, the eraser backs behind our earring, like, I lose backs, like, back to back. So I'm gonna start biting off the pencil of the eraser because that's what I deserve and putting it behind my ear. But anyway, I think that we be blue as fuck that we soft like really really emotional i'm telling you as a scorpio this is coming from a scorpio woman i'm 28 i will literally cry at the drop of a fucking dime cry at the drop of a fucking dime and i'm talking about anything don't play the the military homecomings i'm bawling my eyes out y'all on scared on beyond scared straight when the kid is writing letters to their parents and they start talking to their parents about how they sorry i'm sobbing I'm sobbing. Like, it's giving Chris Jenner. If y'all didn't know, Chris Jenner is a fucking Scorpio. And she cried at every fucking thing. Watch any fucking episode. And this lady, hold on. Hold on, y'all. This might be the Karubas. We are so soft to the point that it's just irritating. And we give off, like, a hard exterior. Because, like, if, you, if we was to let somebody in, like, while we was, like, vulnerable... It will hurt really, really bad. Because, like, once we in it, we all in. Let me make up the cons of a Scorpio. Because I feel like I be agreeing, like, with what they be saying. Let me make sure this shit recorded before I beat the fuck out of this camera, though. Scorpio wants to take care of things all by themselves. When I tell you, y'all, something so fucking simple, like bringing in bags with somebody next to me, G, I will have some shit on my fucking back. Like, my sister be like, I carry something. Like, I be in this bitch, like... Yeah, like, I got it. They're extremely possessive. I own you. You're my property. I. It's not a lease. It's an own. Human lie detector. I don't know if I can. I think I can tell when people lying to me. But sometimes people be getting a little ass by me. Actually, no, nah, I don't play that shit. They take arguments to a whole new level. The last thing you want is an angry Scorpio. But arguments happen. And they will make sure that you get stung one way or another when i tell y'all i need to be arrested for some of the shit that i say in an argument like sometimes i want to like i wish i could just step out of my body and just be like now why the fuck would you say that let me tell you why though like when motherfuckers go along with us we really do go to hell with it but let me tell you why because we feel like you can't choose your fucking punishment when you fuck us over like Okay, okay, you stayed on level one with your insults. So I'm supposed to stay on level one? Nah, bitch, I'm on level fucking trillion with your ass. Yeah, like, you somehow, oh, you ugly. Oh. Bitch, how your brain you doing in the grave? Bitch, fuck you mean? Don't do that. And it's probably not something as simple as you ugly, but it's just like, don't fucking play with us. Because you can't really choose how a motherfucker insult you. Like, once you disrespect them, like, you cheated on me. I'm supposed to just cheat back. Like, no, bitch, I'm finna fucking kill you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, this ain't no tit for tat ass shit. Like, we not a tit for tat zodiac sign. It's tit, and then it's rest in peace. We misunderstood because of what we get off, give off, though. I think it's our fault because we give off, like, the exterior. Like, we don't give a fuck. 
but I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not pretending like I don't give a fuck, but I don't give, I don't not give a fuck about everything. It's just so hard to explain, y'all. Like, it's just hard to explain. Like, when we act like we don't give a fuck, it's because we don't want to get hurt. So it's just like, you have to initially, like, come in as a brick wall. Because if we come in as the pillow pet that we really are, everybody will fuck us over. Cause that's how soft we are that's how gentle we are that's what i feel about like leos which is looked at as like another real fucking strong sign but they really sensitive as hell we don't let shit go and i hope it's not just me y'all but when i say i don't let shit go I don't let shit go like let me tell y'all how sick this is this is probably like six maybe maybe five or six years ago i honestly don't know how long but I was in Panda Express line. I know, random as fuck. I had asked the lady, and this was a stupid question, but I'm like, you know, um, I wanted a spring roll, like a vegetable roll, a spring roll or something. No, it wasn't even called a vegetable roll. It's called a spring roll. They call it spring rolls at Panda. So I'm like, you know, what vegetable? I'm like, what all come in it? So of course I know it's vegetables in it. Like I'm just trying to see what kind. Like is it carrots? Is it cabbage? Like what the fuck is in it? This bitch gonna say vegetables see you want ignorant bitch you a you an ignorant ass bitch like of course i know it's vegetables in there bitch of course i know that it's a spring roll i know that thank you you a great fucking help i wonder where your ass at now because you fuck you and i also feel like we bipolar too like to an extent not clinically like, I can cuss a motherfucker out like, fuck you. I never want to see you again. You a goofy ass bitch. You mean nothing to me. You never meant nothing to me. I want to move on with my life and find better. And it's probably at 1 o'clock p.m. And by probably, probably by like, I'm going to give myself to like 105, 110. Like, I'm, I'm sending something like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Um. That's actually fucking sick. And you know what's crazy? I think we be real, real confused. Like, when motherfuckers don't accept our apology after we just, like, treated the fuck out of their ass. Like, you know, I just had a moment. It's like we're not allowed to have moments. Like, we just gotta be... We gotta communicate. Okay, Bank of America, they wanna let me know so bad I have $12. Okay, I don't, I don't give a fuck. That is some loony ass shit to do though. If you think about it, that's loony as fuck. Excuse me if I got like white as shit right here. Cause I tried to put some edge control on my shit. And I actually hate seeing that. But if I see that in this video, that this shit is white on my head, all fried and sizzled with that residue on it. I'm going to actually sue Evan. Cause that is the edge control that I use. I'm trying to work on that though. Cause I just be feeling like, ugh. Like, bitch, you so bipolar. Like, I just feel like we show, we are so um, emotionally unstable. Like, it's just like, we up and we down, we up and we down, we up and we down. Every fucking second. Like, it's like, I'm either down in hell or I'm high up. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I either get all the energy woo woo or I'm not getting out of my bed for the next three days. Very, very fucking impulsive. We'll jump up and do anything. I'll try anything. Not anything. Like, I'm, we scary as fuck too. I'm not trying anything. But... Like, I try shit as in, like, safe shit. Like, if I want to, like, do something different, like, I'll do it. I feel like we like the biggest hopeless romantics. Like, a Scorpio is probably the biggest hopeless romantic. Let me, let me Google it. Oh, they saying Taurus, y'all. And Cancer. Cancer is a water sign. Okay, they don't have us nowhere linked in and fucking romance. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm fucking talking about. You don't fucking understand us. We're the hopeless romantics. It's a Friday night, and I just ordered my karukabuka wings, whatever the fuck them bitches call them, karubos, with my mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put on a nice movie. I probably watched the Kardashians with some ice cold juice, and that's gonna be my night. But I really want a boo to call me and be like, hey, babe, I'm bringing. Bay or boo, I don't mind either one. Yeah, I know bitches hate the word boo, but I actually love the word boo. Like, hey boo, hey boo, yeah, I'm bringing over some food. I'm gonna make us a little cocktail. We gonna chill. We gonna we gonna just be in for the night. Like, that's what I want. That's what I want. Don't get me wrong. I'm fine with the kabuguru wings and the mashed potatoes and a nice cup of juice. I'm totally fine with that. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing for the last decade. 
so it's not a problem but it's just we we want that mushy like love you know and i think our guard kind of like stop us from it's, it's just completely fucked up if you ask me everything about it is fucked up we want that but we scared to you know be vulnerable and scared to try something different like me i like hood niggas you know what i'm saying nigga niggas that serve motherfuckers you know what i'm saying like which is probably not the type of man that i need i feel like i've always dated guys that were like a bit rough like not even a bit rough like just rough period like i just i don't like a softy but it's like i probably need a softy that's the thing like i'll be the rough one you know don't make me a sandwich and even if they hood like be be a good guy as well you know it's it's okay to have a have some look a little street in you know be street west but i want you to be very smart i don't want nobody fucking looking for you and you know we riding around and you looking paranoid and shit and you got a semi-automatic on your lap and all these i don't got time for that shit because for one i'm very fucking paranoid i'm just a paranoid ass person and like i i can't live like that i can't live knowing that somebody is fucking look looking for you first of all who are you why are you being looked for like money on your head all type of shit like you gotta go but you know i at the same time i don't want no corporate ass nigga like stern by the book no nah, fuck that no i don't like a stickler like i don't i don't fuck with that like i'm not interested i'm not interested this ponytail is giving me a headache a little bit i think also people hate that we are extremely fucking secretive i feel like people like know me but they don't know me and i think we like it that way like we enjoy that shit like i don't want a motherfucker knowing everything about me but yeah i want to know every fucking thing about you like since birth like since you stepped on this earth came out with that cone ass head when they had to put the head on your shit from there to right now what happened but if you ask me like you know what time you get in last night or what you had for breakfast like why the fuck are you in my business it's almost like i can't even enjoy life just being independent an individual you know what i'm saying you don't need to know all of that that shit crazy and we want to know everything about you that shit is berserk like and you better tell me too because it's now you now you just had and shit another thing is it's like a scorpio rent like i feel like we fall in love so easy like ugh, he's so hot we fall in love super duper easy this shit should still be recording because i'm gonna be pissed off if it's not hold on y'all i just be having to check periodically because okay it's actually doing really good good job good job this is ann by the way my phone name is ann when i meet a nigga i'm be like oh this the one yeah i love him like we go together you're my boyfriend just like that you see you didn't get yourself a relationship just like that just by saying hello just by holding the door we are in holy matrimony what are the odds of that what are the odds that you pushing in my chair for me or opening the door or ha telling me have a good day what are the odds that we are madly in love and we're, we're taking this a step further what are the odds of that what are the odds of that i promise y'all when men be nice to me and i don't have daddy issues and nothing like that like my daddy always treats me like a princess and shit like that not saying there's nothing wrong if you have daddy issues but i'm saying i'm not like this because i have daddy issues i just i don't know it's just i think it ties in with just being like a hopeless romantic like you just feel like oh you so nice you so sweet because we love nice things like all of my friends that i love and all the family that i love are really, really sweet and really selfless and it just makes me feel like very like happy and light and plus boba tea boba tea with the tapioca balls coconut milk that make me feel love too and a good home cooked meal make me feel like made me want to cuddle as well so i don't know i'm probably a sick sick fuck get you a scorpio like y'all better come over here and get one of these like what's that it's a chicken salad plain and simple if you a scorpio please classify yourself as a chicken salad i'm drooling but anyway like i said in the beginning of the video if you are a scorpio you need to be subscribed because we family i don't know every scorpio i meet scorpio i meet i'll be like oh i love you period because i understand you if you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe 
I uh, love you very much if you're a Scorpio. If you're not, I like you. But if you're a Scorpio, I fucking love you. If you are a Scorpio, please leave like some type of comment. Because, you know, this is like, this is gang activity. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, 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 it gets scary when you're dealing with a Scorp. So I would like to know that, you know, the gangs arrived um, to the video. But I love you guys. I actually love you all a lot. We're liars. Um, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to end this video here. Good night.